Go ahead. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Thank you everyone for coming. Welcome to our presentation tonight. We're gonna to teach you how to attract your most profitable customers, turn them into rating fans, and have them knocking down your door with referrals. I'm Carrie Julie Estel. I'm a relationship marketing strategist, author, speaker, and I love to sing. And I've also recently started the hashtag trust kindness movement because sending kindness out into the world always brings it back to us. So I just like to trust that. Um, this system that we're going to be talking about is a relationship marketing system. It's a follow-up system and it refer it generates referrals and customer retention basically just by doing the system. And Trudy, you already know Sue, so I'll go ahead and just introduce her. She's the author, speaker also, and um, she's one of my new favorite people. And um, so you want to take it away? Okay, um, and I always hate talking about myself, so I, thank you for the introduction. <laughs> so my claim to fame, really, why I'm here and why I'm doing this web webinar is honestly, I can't, I can't help it, but I have to share um, a how I grew my tutoring business, which ended up being a an educational learning center in Santa Clarita. I literally started that business with one ad in the paper, and I got one client. And that was back in 1998, 97, 98. And uh, I ended up growing that business strictly by taking really good care of that first customer. And she told everyone on their street who told everybody who told everybody. And I literally spent no money on marketing. And how I grew that business into a 5,000 square foot educational learning center with uh, two locations, one uh, tutoring location in San Diego. So what I'm gonna share with you today is pretty much how I built that business. I just didn't have the tool that I'm gonna talk about today, and I'm kind of mad that I didn't. But this screen right here is my, my, my new story that has really changed my life. So about a year and a half ago, in um, June of 2017, I got a crazy message on Facebook from a lady that told me she was a cousin of my mother's. Well, my mother passed away when I was only eight years old. Um, and my younger sister was five and long story short through the mass of uh, the magic of ancestry dna um i magically have a sister a half sister her name is kathy she's absolutely amazing and uh the picture with the three girls the one on my left uh looking at me if you're looking at the screen on the left is my new sister kathy the one with the blondest hair is the sister i grew up with the sister i grew up with we were total opposites Kathy and I, you can see by the other picture, that is exactly what we look like and what we were wearing. That was the day we met and we did not plan the outfits or the shoes or anything. And what's hilarious about that is we do it all the time. <laughs> so I moved my, I just packed up everything and I moved to Sebastopol, California, Northern California to live with my sister. And uh, my story and why that's important for me to tell you is, A, it's a cool story. And we were on in Women's World magazine. And we're going to be on the cover of another magazine. <laughs> but that's really cool. But the real part of the story is I moved here and I didn't know one single person. Santa Clarita, where I came from, I knew everyone. I, I swear, I, I couldn't go anywhere without makeup because I would run into people I knew all the time because I had a big business there. So here, here I was in a brand new community. My sister had to go to work and I had to figure out how I was going to meet clients. How was I going to become known and meet business owners? Because I love helping business owners um, start businesses and grow their businesses. So I had to figure out what to do. And what I'm going to share with you tonight is I promise you exactly what I did to now be really well known. My sister has people coming into her store. She just did the other day. Some woman came in the store and said, oh my gosh, you're Sue Brooks' sister, which is hilarious because she grew up here and knows everyone. And now there's people that don't know her and they all know me. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I did to do that and the tool that I used. So I kind of went on a long time, but go ahead, Carrie. <laughs> I can't remember where we are on the screen here. <laughs> all right. Okay, so, and I am a witness <laughs> to how Sue grew her network after she moved here. So this is a picture you can see of a mom with, a, with her baby. She had her in one of those carrier things. Um, Sue, I had been following Sue for just a little while on Meetup and Facebook, 
and re realized that she was local here. And I thought, man, I got to figure out how to meet this woman. And then all of a sudden she was invited to be a speaker at a networking group that I was a member of. And I thought, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I actually get to like hear her talk and then maybe I'll get to say hi to her. Maybe we'll get to connect. And so she gave like this really, really, really great presentation. It was really powerful. It was 10 minutes. You wouldn't believe what she packed into 10 minutes. And, um, and so I did, I got to talk to her afterwards. So we set a coffee date for a few days later and, um, I met her at Starbucks and I was just completely, I was in a company that, um, it's a really good company, but they weren't teaching me about relationships in business. I, I was missing that link and I knew it. I had just started to realize it when I connected with Sue. And so I was really excited to find out anything that she could help me with because I knew that's what her forte was. And, um, and so we're sitting at Starbucks and we're talking she's asking me questions, you know, trying to find out how she can help me. And this little tiny girl who's like, I think she was like a year old, she comes over and she starts like nosing through Sue's bag on the chair. And we kind of like look like, what are you doing? You know? And so this mom right here in the picture, she comes over and she's like, Oh no, honey, you can't get into other people's bags, you know? And, um, and of course we see this, you know, precious baby right here. That's right on front of her. And Sue, I I'm sitting here just kind of watching this happen. Sue stands up really fast and says, Oh my gosh, your baby is so cute. Can I take a picture and send it to you? And I'm, I'm just like, Whoa, did she just do that? We don't know these people from Adam, you know? And the mom goes, sure. Okay. So I sat there and just watched Sue. She took the photo of the baby and then she did something else on her phone. And then she hands the phone to the mom and the mom starts, I guess she was putting in her address and stuff. I, I didn't know. She was like entering her stuff in there. And then Sue hits the button and does something. And, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what just happened? And this mom is totally happy to be talking to Sue and everything. There's another mom that comes over and sits next to me. And she looks at the table and she's like looking at all, at all of Sue's like, you know, uh, supplies and her paraphernalia and everything that she's got out because it was some cool stuff. And she wanted to see this book that she had sitting out. And so we were talking about that. So, but I, I was just floored because I, they, the two moms, they were meeting together. And so they eventually walked away and went back to their table and finished their meeting. And then I looked at Sue and Sue's like, I'm really sorry for the interruption, you know? And I just was like, I was so excited because it, it was the perfect thing that the, just the best thing that could have happened. I had like an immersion in relationship marketing and creating kind of a connection and, and creating a, a relationship. So I, I got to witness her in action. That was pretty cool. <laughs> it was so unexpected and hilarious. I'll never forget that story. <laughs> and you know, it, it's, it really is all about relationships. You know, I, that's what I talk about all the time. It's really how I started my business in Santa Clarita and how I now am well known out here and how I get referrals all the time, like random referrals. And I'll run into people that know me all the time. So it's all about relationships. But the biggest thing, the problem is relationship marketing is the new thing, right? Not regular old fashioned marketing, relationship marketing. The problem is people, they put the emphasis on marketing. They think they need to do marketing, but the bottom line is you need to spend 80% on building a relationship and only about 20%. On marketing and I call it crockpot marketing <laughs> I actually <laughs> bought the name, domain name because think about it which would you rather have food out of would you rather eat out of a microwave or a crockpot enough said right crockpots take time so do relationships um, yeah so Carrie Carrie has an interesting thing to say about this one <laughs> okay all right and I Sue I gotta say something about that 80 20 rule because um, I had some situations when I was new to networking where um, I like invited some people to coffee and I had my coach, my business coach come with me and she was helping me learn my business and everything. And um, I didn't realize at the time, but the people I invited were just coming to have coffee and get to know me while I was coming to have my business coach show them my business. And it was like a complete like just total, it totally broke down the relationship. Those people don't want to have anything to do with me anymore. And I 
broke it like right at the pass, you know, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I wish I had had that missing link, you know, so. Absolutely. One of the biggest keys to building any kind of relationship in your life is be a nice person. <laughs> just be nice and don't be one of those people. Okay. I, I, I know, I know somebody who is in a group that I used to be in and she had an on off switch for being nice. So she would turn it on and you'd talk to her and she'd be like, Oh, Hey, how are you doing? Blah, blah, blah. And then sometimes, I don't know if she's having a bad day or whatever, but all of a sudden the switch was off and she was kind of grumpy and you're like, Whoa, what happened to you? I, you know, it's like, uh, so just be nice, make it who you are. You know, don't not be nice some days and be nice some days. Just be nice every day. Just be that kind of person. That's what attracts people. Um, take a personal interest in other ask them about their family, ask them about their business. Don't be chomping at the bit to tell them about your business. Ask them about their business. Um, ask them when their birthday is, ask them, you know, what they like to do for fun. Take a personal interest and don't glaze your eyes over when they start talking to you. Don't ask the question and then turn your brain off when they start actually answering your question. You got to listen. You got to be open. You know, I have to say something. I just had a meeting the other day with this girl and she's actually a friend of mine and she was going on and on and on talking about her and all these things that went on and she was uh, everything. She It was all about her. And then when she finally, finally said, Sue, tell, well, what's going on? I literally started talking and right away she started going, oh, who's that back over there on the other side? I mean, did not listen to one thing I said. And <laughs> I'm like, are you kidding me right now? It's, I run into those kind of people all the time and I, I've got, I see Trudy shaking her head. It's like, you can think of someone right now like that, right? Yeah. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> so, so and that, and that kind of brings us to networking. You know, this is networking is okay. So when I started networking, it was not very long ago and I was brand new. And so, and, and nobody really told me what networking was for. So I thought networking is to make sales. That's what I thought. That's not what networking is for. Networking is for building relationships. You might make some sales here, but a lot of times you're going to, going to end up being like referral partners with people where they'll refer people to you and you refer people to them because you have a great relationship and you know they're good at what they do. Um, you know, so did you have any other comments on that, Sue? Or no, the next screen is, is this, like, oh. this is what I teach people. So when you're out networking or anywhere, actually, it could be at Starbucks, <laughs> Every person that you meet is a, is a contact, I, you know, and I'm, I'm speaking mostly from, um, for networking groups, but not really. Cause I mean, I, I meet people in Starbucks obviously all the time. So you meet someone, just think about this. They're going to fall into one of two places. So they can be a prospect. They might be someone that needs or wants what you're selling. Great. But um, go ahead and remember how we, we just, uh, so oh, I want to show you this. So they could be in the prospect bucket and that prospect could turn into a customer, one customer, right? Right. But exactly. Here's the kicker, the referral bucket. I would much rather meet someone, build a relationship and not even think about selling them anything. They might not know what I'm selling, but what happens with referrals is this. They have a lot of people they can refer and they can give you a lot of customers. Does that make sense? So you want, which bucket would you rather be in? So every person that you meet, don't think of them as a prospect to sell something to think of more of as a referral partner that you're going to build a relationship with, find out about their business. You guys both refer to each other and it's just way better to think of it this way. I love that screen. I love, um, Sue, I love, I was watching a training just within the last couple of weeks. And, um, one thing that, um, that the trainer said, I, I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I want. He said, have, be the person with the biggest Rolodex. Yeah. Like, and I just like really stood out to me. I was like, okay, just, I'll just have as many friends as I can possibly collect. That's and that's right. where, that's where it is. So, um, and this is all part of it. People do business with people they know and trust. People buy you. They don't buy your product. Um, you know, if you're in the financial services industry, you do the same thing as every other financial services rep. You all do pretty much the same thing. So a potential client can go to you or they can go to seven other people in your area. So what is it that makes them come to you instead? 
it's because they know, like, and trust you. Um, you know, it's, you know, it's going to be because you built a relationship with, with them and, um, and people buy into you. And this is, you know, this is important to know too, is that even, even, you know, if somebody does become your client or your customer, um, 80% of sales are made on the fifth to 12th contact. You know, that means that, um, that we're definitely, you know, we've got to build a relationship. Otherwise we're going to miss out on 80% of our sales. That's huge, you know, and one of the biggest ways to make sure that you even get to that fifth contact with the person is to use a follow-up system. We need a system. We need a, a something that we follow on a day-to-day -day basis that is going to keep us top of mind and help our contacts remember us. The fortunes in the follow-up. <laughs> so one of the things that um, that we got to keep in mind when we're following up is we don't necessarily just want to use one method of contact, and especially um, especially email. So email is something that like everybody uses nowadays. You know, you've got your weekly emails, your monthly emails, whatever you know you send out to people. Um, the problem with email is that nowadays a lot of people have a ton of them in their inbox and they're only about 11% of them are even opened. And then even the ones that are open, they don't always actually get read. So only like 2% of those are actually read. So we've got to find a way to bridge the gap between high tech and personal touch. Email isn't really doing that anymore. It was when it first came out, but it's not really doing that now. So uh, this cartoon, I just laugh about this. You know, it used to be when it first came out, it's like, woohoo, I got mail. It's so exciting. You know, today you've got like, I don't know, a thousand emails in your inbox that you haven't even opened yet. And you get a letter in your mailbox and oh my gosh, everything else gets thrown on the counter and I can't wait to open this letter that looks like it came from a personal friend, you know? <laughs> so the cool thing is, is greeting cards have a hundred percent open rate. That, and um, the tangible thank you card generates more referral business than any other form of communication. So kind of what we're talking about here is, you know, you look at, you look at email and, you know, it's a great way to communicate with people, um, but it's definitely not the only way. And it's not necessarily an effective way to create that personal touch. Um, you know, so, but what is a way that's going to create that personal touch? Well, we just realized that greeting cards have a hundred percent open rate. So, um, you know, so where's the most effective way to follow up? It's going to be a greeting card. Um, so we've got a few examples here of people with huge success stories that, um, that knew kind of how to leverage this tool. Um, this is Joe Girard. He wrote this book, How to Sell Anything to Anybody. He's in the Guinness Book of World Records for the most cars sold in a year. Um, and he sold over 13,000 cars during his selling career. His secret was sending every single contact 13 cards a year. And that's not just his customers. That was all of his contacts. Mary Kay recommended to all of her sales reps that they write handwritten thank you notes, at least three of them, every night before bed. And then Tom Hopkins, he was a realtor. And his secret weapon for success was 10 handwritten thank you cards every single day. He went from $50 a month in real estate to almost 100% referral business within three years. And this just proves over and over again that it's all about relationships. Those three people understood the fact that it is more valuable to build long-term relationships rather than just encouraging a one-time sale with people. So, you know, I, I you wanna, talk about this one. Yeah, so I want to throw this in. So this, this to me is one of the most important things anybody in their business needs to know. And if you've ever heard of CLV, if you have a business, customer lifetime value. So it's like this. I started my business. I put one ad in the, in the paper. This is way before the internet and all that kind of stuff. I got one client, one person ad, uh, answered the ad. I had a, a learning center, a school. So I was very excited because it was a first grader. And I think you'll understand when I say customer lifetime value. So think about this. The first grader comes in. I loved it when kindergarten and first graders came in because 
they're, they might pay $500 a month for the after school program or the summer camp that I had, right? $500 a month. A lot of people think, oh, I sold this one thing and they think that's what, how much that customer is worth. But multiply that times 12. I wanted them there all year. <laughs> that's $6,000 times, boy, I want that kid till college, right? If not after. And then I want their kids <laughs> later. So <laughs> that one client that I started with that put the ad in the paper, I took such good care of them. I sent him birthday cards and thank you cards and I loved on them so much that that customer told so many people who told so many people that they probably with all of the referrals that they gave me, plus all the money they spent at least a million dollars. I mean, they had wow. to, to help me generate a million dollars. And so think about that who realtors, especially, and we have one on the call right now. This is so huge with realtors. And we're going to tell you a story about this in a minute, but um, keep in touch with all of those people, your past customers, uh, people that sell cars and, and big things, a lot of times they think, okay, I sold this big thing, but they're not going to want to buy anything for a long time. But oh gosh, no, they could be the best referral partners ever. And these statistics are so important. The number one reason a customer does not come back to you is because they forgot about you. They forgot about you. Um, customers do not leave because of price. 85% of clients are lost because they don't feel appreciated. And I have huge, a perfect story for this because I started my tutoring business after working for the largest tutoring franchise in the world and they were very expensive. And um, so I wanted to help everybody that couldn't afford the big expensive tutoring business. So I started my business being the cheapest one in the whole town, the cheapest. I set the lowest price. And once I started open, I finally opened my center and I started hiring employees. I realized I needed to raise my prices or I wasn't going to stay in business. So I was scared to death about raising my prices. I thought, Oh my gosh, everybody's going to leave. But the craziest thing happened. <laughs> I raised them a little bit. And nobody left and they kept telling people about me. I raised it a little bit more. I raised it a little bit more until I'm not kidding you. I was the most expensive after school program, summer camp program in all of the whole area, anywhere around there. And guess what? Nobody left. <laughs> I got more clients. And because part of our system was sending a thank you card to the person when they just to them when they first came in to take a tour. And this one at the bottom is huge. I can't, I can't tell you how huge this is. People spend so much money. I see it all the time. Spending so much money and so much time, and time is money, right? Trying to get new customers instead of appreciating the ones they already have. If you would yeah. take care of the people that you already have or had in the past, they're going to love you so much that you're going to be top of mind. They're going to tell everyone. They're your advertising. And it's free. Oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm passionate about that? <laughs> <laughs> so I, all, all of the stuff I said, I have to tell you about this. So I'm not bragging about my cars, but I've owned seven new Beatles. I love them. The number two was the one that was, I was hit in uh, by a Ford F-250 big giant truck that ran a red light in the driver's side door. I'm full of titanium. But the car saved my life. Um, and uh, I love my bug. So I will never, have, well, they just stopped making them. This is the last year. So anyway, I'm telling you this story for a reason. I've owned seven, I've bought seven new Beatles. Okay. Here's what I want you to, I want this to sink in. Every one of those new Beatles I bought from a different salesperson and a different dealership. In fact, the pink one right there, the big one, I only bought less than two years ago and I, I couldn't tell you a week after I bought the car who sold it to me because no one kept in touch with me. I didn't get anything. The only thank you I got was, Hey, will you fill out the survey and refer us to a whole bunch of people? Right. Oh my gosh, please don't ask for referrals. You know, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> so here's um, another example. Okay. Um, and this is, this is a realtor in Arizona. He was terrible with his follow-up. He did not have a system in place. Um, he didn't really have, he had he didn't know if there was a good one to nurture his relationships. Um, so he got introduced to the follow-up system that Sue and I use, and he entered all his new clients and potential customers in there and started seeing a, just an explosion in his business because he 
started following a system. Um, he never really got his um, existing or previous clients in there for a long time. And then this one time when it got close to the holidays, he put them in there. He started sending, so he decided to send them all holiday cards along with all of his new clients. And they started coming back to him. The people did not live in the homes that he had helped them buy anymore. They had sold their homes. And he didn't know, which means they sold their homes using a different real estate agent. So what he did, you can see in the picture here, at, um, when, what he started doing was they'd come back and he would go on the MLS and he'd find out how much they sold their house for and he would calculate what his commission would have been. And so he ended up losing almost $75,000 because he didn't keep in touch. <laughs> That's so huge. That like kills me every time I hear it. I know, I know, it's huge, you know. So um, the important thing is you set yourself apart by reaching out in kindness purely with the intent to stay in touch. And that's, that's one really huge takeaway about this is no matter what system you use for follow-up, make sure that every time you follow up, it's with the intention of staying in touch and appreciating that person, not with the intention of making another sale. Absolutely. So um, I love that you, she said that because I'm going to give you, this kind of summarizes exactly what I've done out here. So and what happens and what can happen. So I was at a chamber mixer. Um, I didn't know anyone there. And I'm, you know, I just found myself, I ran into this guy. He's a financial advisor, actually. He's, um, and uh, I took a picture. This is what I did with, I do with every single person I meet. I grab my phone and I say, hey, can I take a selfie with you? So I don't forget what you look like. It was nice meeting you. And then uh, with the app on my phone, I can literally put the picture on the front of a greeting card and I can type a, or text voice text a message and I can send the card like in 30 seconds from my phone and they get a greeting card in their mailbox a few days later. So I did that like I do all the time everywhere I go. And as soon as he got the card in the mail with our picture on it, he called me and he said, oh my gosh, Sue, that was really cool. I would love to meet with you. Um, and I said, yeah. And in the card, all I did was, hey, it was nice to meet you at the mixer. I'd love to hear more about your business. So I met him at his office. And um, while I, and that's not him in the picture. I'll explain that in a second. At his office, I, uh, I, he said, wow, this is so great. I want to talk to you some more and find out maybe um, – have you help, help me with my marketing? And I said, well, <laughs> tomorrow, um, I don't know when I'm going to be back, but tomorrow I'm leaving for Nebraska. Um, my father just got, we just found out he has dementia and we have to move him into a, um, a memory care assisted living. And I, I don't know what, how this is going to go, but I, it's going to be hard. And he said, and he luckily, he knew about it. He had his mother also had dementia. So he said, that's fine. Just let me know when you come back. So I was gone. Toughest, hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. I don't know if anybody's had that happen to you before, but I hope you haven't because it was a very, very difficult time in my life, the hardest in my life. Anyway, I came back and when I got the mail, this was in the mail. This card was in the mail. That's a picture of my father and me. It's my favorite picture of us because it's the last time that we actually went out to dinner um, before we had to uh, move him. And he was, you know, just starting to, to, you know, show the signs. And so the front of the greeting card, he had actually gone on my Facebook page and somehow found that picture. I have no idea out of all the pictures, he picked that out, sent this beautiful message that was just, you know, you're in my prayers. It was a tough time. There was no selling. He wasn't trying to sell me anything. It was just, it made me feel so good. Like tears just fell out of my face and I have it with me all the time. And, um, I just going to ask you a question. <laughs> Who am I going to send all of my referrals to all of them? Right. Exactly. Um, and just on that same thing, I don't know if you've read the Wayne Dyer book. Um, I just went out of my head somewhere. It, he, Wayne Dyer says that when you send out kindness into the world, you get this shot of serotonin. When the person that sends the kindness out and the person that's receiving the kindness, they both get that feel-good serotonin. But the most amazing thing that I found out is the people that observe that or hear it about it get the same thing. So when I've told that story I just told, 
almost everyone in the room, I have, I've had people cry because they felt it. So the power of sending out that kindness only with the intention of sending out kindness to people is going to come back to you 10, 20,000 fold. And the bottom line is uh, the guy who sent that card to me did not put in the card, send me a referral. <laughs> so don't ask for a referral ever. Just deserve it. You will never have to ask for a referral again if you do this system. And this is obviously, if you've all heard Maya Angelou, I've learned that people will forget what you said. They will forget what you did, but they will never forget how you made them feel. Exactly. Exactly. And that's just, and this, you just said this too, what you send out in life is what comes back to you. And, and I think you're right. I think it is like 20,000 fold. I think it just gets bigger when it comes back, when it's a pure intent. So this is, what are we going to do here? Are you going to, do you have your phone ready? Refresh my memory. I totally don't. Okay. That's, that's okay. You can do that while I talk. So I do want to tell you, I'm share, Carrie's going to show you um, actually with her phone. Uh, she's going to share her phone screen and show you exactly what I did when I take the picture of people and how I send the card from the app. It's going to blow your mind. Um, these pictures are some of the, what you just saw on the screen <laughs> while she's getting this together. Um, I actually have built tons of relationships on Facebook. Um, I have almost five, well, I hit 5,000 friends. I actually deleted some that I haven't ever heard from, but um, I hit 5,000 friends on my Facebook page. You can't have more than that. That's why I deleted them. Well, anyway, um, on my, on Facebook, um, I literally put a post up every so often. And one time I put a post, post your favorite pet picture. And those are some of the pet pictures. There were a few that people just posted. I didn't know these people from Adam. I'm thinking, well, I need to meet some people. So I put, the, I said that up there. I actually right clicked on the photo and I saved it to my, my phone or my computer. I put it, the picture on the front of a greeting card and then I messaged them and I said, Oh my gosh, thank you for putting your picture of fluffy on the, on my post. I want to send you guys a surprise. Can you give me your mailing address? And every single person gave me their mailing address. One guy I had to ask three times because he kept giving me his email address. He didn't get it. But <laughs> anyway, I literally <laughs> sent out over 100 cards with people's dogs or cats and one tortoise on it. And here's the proof that this worked. All of these people first, are they ever going to throw the picture of their, their animal away? Never. It's going on their desk of the refrigerator. One girl, I had a speaking engagement. I did a workshop in uh, Southern California down in Chatsworth. And this girl drove two hours to come and hear me speak um, because I sent a picture of her cat on a card. I never met her before. And now she's a client of mine. So <laughs> it works. <laughs> so absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. So I've got this ready here. I'm going to. Okay. Um, Perfect. Gonna Perfect. Share this. I'm going to get this up. All right. So this is how you. Uh oh, did she freeze? No. There you are. You're coming back. Uh oh, technology. Shoot. Are you back? Are you, are you back, uh, Carrie? I'm here. Can you hear me at all? There we go. You're back now. Yeah, okay. technology. Oh, there we go. There we go. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. So you can see there, oh, <laughs> that's my son with my daughters kissing him on both sides. <laughs> um, all right, so the upper left corner, you can see this little, um, the little envelope with stuff in it. It's a send out cards app. So I'm just gonna tap that and just pull it up. This is how easy this is. Um, so I do this all the time when I'm out and about. I went to a lunch meeting today and my friend ended up being like almost a half an hour late. And so I just sat, was like, well, you know what? I've got some cards I've got to send out. And so I just, I just sat waiting for her and just did like my follow-up. Like, you know, I found a couple of minutes. So um, I'm going to go ahead and do a photo card here. So you just tap that section where it says photo cards and you can do either landscape or portrait. And I think I'm going to try portrait. And then you can see down at the bottom, you've got some choices down there. We've got a two panel, three panel. You can do a postcard. Um, or a flat card, which is like the, a regular five by seven. Um, and then there was these big, the big cards. That's like um, eight and a half by 10. So I'm just going to hit create on a regular, regular card here. 
Um, and then I'm going to pull, let's see, I think I've got some stuff in here. I've got, these are some great photos in here. So I'm going to take this. This is a friend of mine that she came and stayed with us for a weekend a few years back. That was really fun. And um, I'm going to send that to, all right. So she just put that picture on the front of the card and then she just swiped twice and now she's on the inside I of the did. card. Yeah. Where... Sorry. Thank you. So that's, yeah. So there's, there's the front inside left. You can put text there or you can actually tell it to put another photo if you want. Um, and then here's the right hand side of the card. Like when you open it up the side that normally has text on there. So I can do text here, but I can also do like, um, I can also do another photo if I want. I'm going to go ahead and do text and send her a note. Now up here, um, you can add signatures, like um, personal signatures that you can insert. You can change the font here. We've got like lots of different fonts. Um, I like to do this one because I have my personal font in here. So that's actually my handwriting that I submitted on a form. And um, you can change the size of the font. You can even change the color. This is like totally great. I always go for purple. Purple is my favorite. So, and then I'm just gonna write a quick note to her. Uh, it was so fun having you. I usually voice text it. I usually just yeah. put the thing in like when I'm out and about, I'm in a hurry. So I just say, Hey, it was so nice meeting you. And they're watching me actually right. say the message I'm giving to them is so much fun. Cause they're looking at me like, what are you doing? <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah. This, this phone, I, it doesn't like my speech to text, but I'm, I'm ready for my new phone. And I know, I know what kind I'm getting and that it'll do great. So <laughs> I'm excited handwriting. to do it. Mine isn't that cool. I'm going to, I'm going to see if I redid mine. You have good handwriting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So we just hit this check mark up in the left, left hand corner there. You can see that's how it fits in there. And then you're back. Um, this is what my default back is right now. Now you can change that. Like I've got a few different ones and like, she's a friend of mine. She's not necessarily like a customer. So I'm just going to do like a personal one. It's got like a family photo on there. And, um, there's a link to my website, like just in case she wants to look at it, but it's not like up in your face. And, um, and then you just hit send. And it's fun to have like a ton of different backs. You can do like a ton of different backs. You can do personal ones. You can do business branding ones. You can do it's 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 a blast. Um, I use Canva for doing that. And then here you can add a new contact if it's somebody that you don't, don't have in the system already. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just select her. And then up here you see this little magnifying glass in the top right. I'm gonna search for her name because I have a lot of people in here. Oops. All right, so that's her right there. Just hit the check mark. So that adds her right there. So there's the card. It's got my return address and everything. And then you just hit continue. And then I'm on one of the great plans that um, I get, I get cards for free every month. Um, so you just hit submit and she's going to get that card in the mail in a few days. That's how easy it is. And you can also add a gift too. So they have a great gift store. In fact, I'm wearing a necklace. I actually sent it to myself cause I love it so much, but they have, <laughs> I know it's terrible. Um, but I send car, they have Visa gift cards, Starbucks gift cards, jewelry, brownies. They're really famous for their brownies and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So. Oh yeah. I send, I have a friend who's a, um, she's a financial services person and, uh, and I sent her, she sent me a referral and I was like, oh my goodness, thank you. You know? And so, um, I sent her one that it's a, like, it's a little key and it has the word prosperity on it. And they just have lots of, lots of neat stuff. Very cool stuff. So, so, all right. Yeah. So now I think Carrie's going to get the thing back up there and just, um, we're trying to, we, we always try to make this, this, uh, webinar shorter, but there's so much to say. And we also yeah. have <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. So I'm going to have her, she's going to go through this really quickly, but, um, this system is so phenomenal. So go ahead and go to the next one. I'm going to have Car Carrie's going to explain how we both get both of our cards are all free. I literally sent 30 or 40 cards and I'm going to show you some of them when we get off, when we get to the end. So go ahead, Carrie, take it away. All right. All right. Great. Thanks, Sue. So this is send out cards. Uh, appreciation you can touch um, because yes, it comes in the mail and you can get it in your mailbox. Um, there are three different ways to send cards. We've got heartfelt card sends, group card sends, and scheduled card sends. 
So the heartfelt cards are like what I just showed you right now. Um, it was from the heart. I was prompted. I thought, okay, I'm going to send her this card. I saw this photo on my Facebook memories yesterday. And um, it sent immediately. It was a unique um, card with a unique message in, inside, and it sent immediately. That's a heartfelt card. Um, we also, you can use any of them from the catalog. So you can see there's lots, there are ones for holidays. There are like affirmations. There are all kinds of great stuff that's available. We also have the gift shop like Sue was talking about, and you can see there are some samples here. There's jewelry. There are um, a few different options for gift cards. I like the, um, I sent a birthday gift to one of my friends recently. I sent her a brownie with a plate, which you can kind of see like the sweets for the sweet plate there. And that was really cute. She loved it. Um, all right, and then we've got group card sends. Now group card sends are what people usually use for holiday cards. Um, and I actually recently, I used them for my son's birthday. So I just created my own invitation and, you know, put everybody in a Williams birthday group and then sent the cards out and it went out to everybody. It was great. It was really good. Um, you can do announcements or like save the date cards for weddings, things like that. Um, so group card send is the same exact card sent to more than one person. You can send it immediately. Um, I think you can schedule them. I don't remember, but the, normally they're sent immediately. And then we've got scheduled card sends. So there are a couple of different ways you can use them. Um, they go out to one or more people at a future date that you choose. So you can schedule birthday cards ahead of time um, and anniversary cards, things like that. You also can use it to do campaigns. And I think um, this will kind of show us this is the relationship section. So this, this system will keep track of everybody that you know, all your contacts. You get them in there, keeps track of their, um, their business name, their um, birthdays, anniversaries. You can add their children and their spouse, all of that stuff. It's great. Keeps track of it. Um, what was I? Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about the campaigns. So campaigns are cool. You can use them. That's a scheduled card as well. So you can set it up to where, say, maybe you want to send four different cards to the same person. Maybe they're a new customer. You want a new customer campaign. So you can create um, your own cards to send to them, like, immediately, and then two weeks later, two weeks after that, three weeks after that, all with a different message. You can just put them in the campaign, and it'll automatically send. You only have to do it once. It's great. Um, so here are the different account options. You can have a free account. It doesn't cost anything to be part of Send Out Cards. Um, you can see that there's a price for the standard card. You get a little bit of discount if you do group sends in 20 or, 20 or more. Um, if you want to send photo cards, it's an additional dollar, and the relationship manager, manager is a little bit limited. Um, but you can see you know, you've got all of these different options. You still can fully customize the card. Um, you can change your font, your color, all of that stuff. Now there's the enhanced. Um, this is great because you've got the unlimited relationship manager. All right, so that's going to really make sure you're not missing any birthdays, anniversaries, special dates, things like that. Um, you also get a discount on, a right, on the standard card and a deeper discount on group sends. You get a 15% discount in the gift shop, which is great. And then we've got the premium. Now this is the one I was on this and I actually upgraded recently, <laughs> but this is, this is really cool. So this one is the one where you get unlimited heartfelt cards, which is just like the one that I sent on my phone. Um, it gives you a deeper discount on group and scheduled cards as well. Um, you get a 30% discount in the gift shop, which is really cool. And you get loyalty rewards, which you can, they accumulate. So you know, any months that you don't use them, they can be used for scheduled and group sends in the future, and you only have to pay the postage. So that's really cool. But, you, but the, on the 97, you can send as many cards as you want, as long as they're scheduled immediately, anywhere in the world, and posting right. is included. I, yeah. said, I just sent a card to Turkey. So this is unbelievable, because you can send as many yeah. as you want, and they're free every single time you push send. Yeah, and I think some months they lose money on me because I'm sure I send like two to 400 cards and I, I don't have to pay for any of them. I just pay the 97, so. <laughs> <laughs> so. 
So, and then we've got the enterprise level. Now this one is great. It still has the unlimited heartfelt cards. Um, so you still get that, including the postage. It's anywhere in the world, including the postage. You still get that great benefit. And then on top of that, um, you get 100 free group sends. So say it's, you know, last month was Mother's Day. So I upgraded to this because it saved me money and I sent Mother's Day cards to 135 mothers. It was the funnest thing I have done in a really long time. Wow. And, um, and so, but it was great. It saved me a ton of money because I was able to send those cards for free. Well, a hundred of them. And um, I just paid the postage, which, you know, that's not really that much. So um, you still get that great discount on the group and scheduled cards, anything over a hundred of those. Um, you still get your discount on the gift shop and you still get your loyalty rewards, which is great. Um, oh, I always forget about that one. <laughs> so those are your free group sends up to a hundred. All right. So these are all of four of the plans. You can kind of see, just kind of compare them. Um, the standard cards, card price, it can, you know, it goes down gradually um, and the different discounts in the gift shops and everything like that. Um, these are uh, some packages that are available. So you can get the handwriting font and signatures like we showed you and that's 49 and we've also got the first impression pack which is 99. Now these are great cards for like when you've just met somebody maybe from networking events or you invite them out for coffee, you want to say thank you afterwards um, or you can get both of them with four signatures. I think if you get just the handwriting font signatures, you get 10 signatures, or you can get both with just four signatures for the same price of 99. So that's a pretty good deal. And this is the campaign store. So that's kind of what I was talking about. You can create your own campaigns, and we also have campaigns specific to different industries. So, you know, for dentists, for financial services, for, um, spa and massage. Um, they've got beauty salons. Those are great. You can do great like before and after shots on those. That Those are a really good thing. I know we have someone in here for network marketing. And um, so oh. the cool thing is they have a whole set for your team, like motivational cards for your team. And the real estate ones are cool too. And uh, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. They're really good. So um, yeah, those are, I've seen those, the network marketing. Those are, those are a lot of fun. So, and then we also have the option of getting your subscription paid for. How do we do that? It's uh, $59 a year to become affiliate. And all that means is that you're gonna get commissions for sharing the follow-up system with any of your friends that might be able to use it in their business. On top of the 59 a year, you can just, this is just an example. If you're on the premium subscription, which is 97 a month and you get your unlimited heartfelt sense, if you sign up four other customers on the same $97 plan, then you will get enough commissions to pay for your subscription every month. So it's a wash. You're not even really having to pay for it anymore. Now that's one way of using send out cards. There's a third way of using send out cards and that is you can actually start building multiple teams if you want and have it as a great little side income. It's always nice to have kind of a backup, you know, or have some multiple streams of income. You rank advanced to um, manager and that ups your commission rate as well. And um, so it can be pretty lucrative. Um, so at this point, I just want to invite you to get back to the person who invited you to our webinar. Thank you for coming. Um, if you want to meet with Sue, you can uh, book a free marketing strategy session at meetwithsue.com. And you've got her contact information there. And then um, we've got my contact information as well. I'm available for any questions on the system, um, you know, any, and, also, and also any um, marketing questions and things like that. Absolutely. All right. Yeah. And I just want to add, you know, like I said, if, if you're watching the replay of this or you're on here live, please get back to the person who invited you because they are most likely an affiliate and they will get credit. So you'll, they'll want to give you a special link. Um, if you don't have anybody or one of us sent you, just get in touch with us. I'm going to go ahead. And um, anyway, thank you guys for being here. That was so awesome. And um, I hope to talk to you guys soon.